we're going to see how an integral controller works to do it we are going to go to configuration here I have the controller structure right now I have a proportional controller so I need to change it but first I need to set the proportional gain one and I'm going to change it to uh, integral controller okay I'm going to initialize integral action and I'm going to go to commissioning start I'm going to change this and I'm going to hide this signal because I'm not going to use it well these values are not good so uh, zero here zero and manipulated well okay zero and zero I'm going to start well right now we have the signal the error signal is zero so suddenly I'm going to change it into 50 and the integral action starts well stop the first thing I can see is that the the error signal is a square and the integral action is a striped line this is because the integral controller is not like the proportional controller the proportional controller is proportional to the signal error so that the two signals have the same shape but in this controller the manipulated value the output of the controller is proportional to the integral of the signal uh, error signal as a function of time so um, the integral of the a square a constant function is a straight line uh, I want to understand what does the integral time mean so I'm going to use the vertical cursors I'm going to set it here well and the other one in this point well how much time I have between these two points uh, the interval of time is 10 seconds exactly the same time of the integral time so what does the integral time means the integral time is the time that the integral controller needs to reach the error signal so uh, it starts in zero and it needs 10 seconds to reach uh, 50 value the same value of the of the error error signal well I can change this this error signal uh, here but first uh, I'm going to set it all into zero initialize here and uh, here zero well well I'm going to change this at point 100 and start well the integral action starts when the error appears
stop. I'm going to use again the set cursors here and here. So I can see that the interval of time is 10 again. I have a, a error signal of 100, but the time that the controller needs to reach the error is 10 seconds again, because the interval time is 10 seconds. I can change this uh, interval time to see it again. So I can set it in 5 seconds. I'm going to uh, put the set point 0, manipulated value 0, OK, OK, start. Mm. Zero. I need. No. Oh. Okay. 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 Well. Well. Start again. One hundred. Stop. I'm afraid I made a mistake. I well, I need to do it again. Start one hundred. Well. OK, stop, and cursors. Between these two points, I have five seconds. So the integral controller needs five seconds to reach uh, the error signal. So I can understand uh, what does the integral time mean. Well, another interesting thing is to see how um, uh, integral controller works under a triangle test signal. Well, to do it, I'm going to set it 0, 0, Well, uh, in here, I need to put the uh, input here. It's this is the variable. Well, OK, load. Yes, it's working well. Well, um, uh, zero. here I can change it oh well start well and activate I need to resize the scale
and I'm going to start here well I can see that the manipulated value the shape of this function right now is different than the the one I have seen before well I'm going to stop it Um, I, I want to understand what this shape means okay uh, the error signal is the black one so uh, here the slope is of the of the error signal is uh, negative and here is positive so in this uh, interval of time where the slope of the strike line is negative I have that the integral of the of the signal is a parabolic shape but it is uh, a con convex a convex shape and here when the slope of the strike line changes into a positive the the shape of this parabolic um, manipulated value changes into a concave well it's because the the manipulated value is the integral of the error signal as a function of time.